You come to find that most of these stories of saints in the faith were fuck-ups. Full-blown fuck-ups. They weren't perfect people who did perfect shit their whole lives and then wound up... They were... They... A Touch requirement touched by God from the beginning, poop and gold, like yeah. It wasn't that yeah, way. Yeah. The requirement for their sainthood was the fuck up. But they've been there. They had to. They had to have experienced real negative shit in their life to be able to have this other thing, this salvation, this hero's journey. When you work hard to be the best version of yourself, so you can protect and provide for the people you care about, you're pleasing God, and you do that so that you can wake up and show Him the beauty of His own creation. I can be the best version of me. I can make the people around me have the best possible lives. I'm not going to sit and be lazy or not try. Did Goggins train today? That's like asking if water is wet. <laughs> One thing I found out in life is if you want to get better, do the shit that no one else wants to do. Do the shit that no one else is even thinking about doing. Do the shit that people think is fucking stupid. It makes no sense. Because all you're doing is getting better. You need to love pain. However, mentally, physically, love it. You need to love it. If not, stay where you are. My purpose in life isn't to be happy no more. That's what my purpose used to be, which is such a shitty aim in life. My aim in life in totality, my whole purpose for existing in life was to be happy. Mm -hmm. And that's, yeah. not, that's not my purpose anymore. And now? Yeah, my purpose now is to be useful. Mm -hmm.